Hi, girls and boys, boys and girls. I'll tell you what. This great book right here, Priscilla and the Hollyhocks by Anne Broyles. This is a little slave girl. She was a slave, and her mama got sold, was sold by the master of the Georgia plantation. And she had an, an, an old lady who took her in. Her name was Sophia. And Priscilla's mother, before she was sold, had planted some hollyhocks down by the cow pond. So Sophia took her down there and showed her how to make little dollies and float them on the cow pond. Now, boys and girls, I'll tell you what. This little girl, Priscilla, started working in the master's house, and then you won't believe what happens. She gets sold in a few years. The master dies, and she gets sold, and a Cherokee Indian buys her, and he takes her home to his house, and while she's there, she's still kind of like a slave. And then, guess what? Things started changing, and the, the white man started pushing the Indians further and further west. And so they came and they took the Indian family. But before that, Priscilla met a man named Silkwood. And you know what? Silkwood didn't believe in slavery. And guess what? They, the Indians had to go further west. And when they get out there, she's going to see Silkwood again. Boys and girls, I'll tell you what. You're not going to believe this book. It's got a fantastic ending. It's got beautiful, beautiful pictures in it. It tells you some of the, the things that the slaves had to go through. Um, and it tells you about white people and how some white people didn't believe in slavery. And so you know what? And find out how this ends. Find out if uh, Silkwood and Priscilla get married or whether Silkwood and Priscilla uh, just are friends or what happens in this book. So get this book, Priscilla and the hollyhocks. Oh yeah, find out, find out if she takes some hollyhock seeds with her when she leaves. When she gets sold the first time, when she goes with the Indians, find out if she plants hollyhock seeds around and grows hollyhocks wherever she goes, or whether it's just a memory in her head. So get this book, Priscilla and the Hollyhocks by Ann Boyles. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. So, hey, this is Mr. Dean. Thanks for joining me for another Mr. Dean's Outdoor Reading Adventures.